guys, it's Toast again from the Fishy Acker YouTube channel. Waiting for spring to get here, got the snow plows going outside, and in this packet here, I've got another really inexpensive sub $1 blade bait. Let's take a look at it and see if this one's any good or if it's a piece of junk. So guys, the background music in this video is sponsored by one of our local snow plow companies. I can't hear them right now, but I could a second ago. Anyway, inside this little uh, tiny Z packet, off of AliExpress, there they go again, uh, is kind of a medium-sized, uh, kind of sublimated printed blade bait. This one actually, actually looked pretty cool. I've gotten a whole bunch of different types of these. These are, again, really, really nice, especially during the winter time. If you're trying to throw something like a lipless crankbait, for instance, it's a good option for you, or jigging instead of spoons. There are a lot of different options there for you, but these can really be deadly lures. And uh, this was one that looked kind of unique. Well, I picked it up for 93 cents, and this is what it's posted for right now. It's listed as One Piece's Metal Vibe 11 gram, 5.5 centimeter fishing lure vibration spoon, hard baits with feather crank bait, wobbler swim bait, cicada vibe tackle. Yes, that's a lot of words. It's their keywords again, trying to get it to a uh, spider in. This thing is available in a bunch of different colors. It's going up all of one cent since I actually picked it up a few weeks back. Uh, some interesting looking colors on it. The one I picked up here is kind of that almost kind of skeleton looking, marbleized looking black and white color to it. Uh, they again have free shipping on it, so you get it exactly for that listed price, less than a dollar. Uh, again, looking down here in the description, 3D eyes, um, colorful body, uh, 11 grams, like I said in the description, because again, the, the title, again, the title basically covers almost everything it had in the description. A whole bunch of different colors. It looks like it's got a little, like, a uh, feathered uh, bucktail hook on it, which in itself, you got a decent tied bucktail hook on a treble, on a decent treble. It's worth that much money anyway. So, let's take a look at it. I haven't taken it out to look at it. I just opened it up just to see what was in here. So, I got to pull the listing up. It's in one of those typical uh, cellophane packets. This one actually feels a little bit heavier duty than a lot of them, though. Let's see if I can open it without impaling myself and see how this thing looks. So, there it is. Again, it's a little bit bigger than a lot of the ones you've been finding for about that price point. Uh, it's all black. You can see it's actually how they've sublimated or, or shrink wrapped. The way the painting is on here, the graphics, it's all the way around. Actually, the finish on it looks pretty good. It's not flaked off or bubbling up anywhere. It's got a little green 3D eyes on it. Uh, the hooks on it look a little bit better than typical. They're not super, super shiny. Again, I'm looking at these really inexpensive lures. If you look at the hooks on it, they're really, really shiny metal. They're probably going to break or rust on you really quickly. This one's uh, not quite as bad. It looks more blued almost. These actually look a little bit better. See how flexible they are. Still got a lot of flex in it. They're not really stiff metal, though. And the point on it, decent feeling little point, at least out of the package. I don't know, you bump one little rock or something, it might buff it down. It's got split rings on the hooks here. It's got multiple points here on the top to tie it. It's got that, I guess, is uh, the way it's molded in here. It's a really cool kind of 3D mold to it. Uh, it's actually got a little bit of, like, 3D kind of gill little, like, mold into it there. And then on the, uh, the, the back end of it here on the hook... Actually looks like a slightly smaller hook on the stern of it. A little bit darker finish on it. So it really doesn't look like the same hooks on the front and the back. It does have that uh, feathery bucktail on it. Got a little bit of flashy in it. And to be honest, it actually looks like it's tied pretty well this time. I'm sure a lot of these come to you. I think I've gotten a couple of them where it's already frayed by the time you get it. It's really, really cheaply tied on that hook. Uh, but this one actually looks halfway decent. So again, you can just throw this thing out, it out, get a you know consistent retrieve on it. You can jig it, all sorts of stuff. If you're fishing, really really cold wintertime temperatures, this is a really great lure for it. Especially like here on the Susquehanna, smallmouth will eat this thing alive or well, unalive, whatever. But uh, a lot of different types of options for it for uh, bass and walleye and so forth. Smaller versions too. Get some panfish on it. 
Uh, will this work? This will, I'm sure will definitely work. I kind of like the black finish on it too because uh, it's really, you know, good color. I use a lot of those darker colors for muddy or stained water. It's an option for you. But I'll put a link down below if you're interested in picking this up. It's a really nice looking lure. And like I said, there's a bunch of different patterns to it. There's kind of the same pattern here with a red and black instead of that white on it. Actually looks really cool too. And some of the more standard colors. But uh, looks pretty cool. But I thought this was a really cool looking one here. But uh, would I recommend it? I haven't used it in the water yet. But I know some of the other ones here uh, work fairly well. And we caught fish on them. But, like I said, a little bonus there with a the hook, with a like, tied hook on it. So, I'll put, like I said, put a link down below, and if you haven't yet, be sure to click and subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and of course, give us that thumbs up for the video. So, anyway, check them out. I'm going to go outside and see if snow plows are done yet. Catch on the water. FishYacker.com The original kayak rigging video series.